Hello, hello, and welcome. I am going to do this video in a little bit of a different style. I'm going to show you a thrift haul that I got and a few things from a family yard sale that I went to. But instead of pulling it out of the car, which is my typical fashion, I have brought it all inside of the house. I'm in the shed. We're going to go back in the house and I am going to hold it up and show you. And I will tell you exactly why I bought this stuff. One place I went was Goodwill. And the other was my little local thrift store. And then I stopped at one garage sale. There's some great items to pick up here. So I hope you guys enjoy my thrift haul and learn a lot. So let's take a look. So we are at the kitchen table and I am going to show you what I got. No particular order here. I will tell you where I got it. And it kind of sucks because this does not have the size on it, but I still think it will do well. This is a coat. It is by London Leathers, Lily Ann. It was made in England and I couldn't find a size anywhere. And so I will have to do measurements, which, you know, I hate. But this I got at my little local thrift store for $4.99, and I think it'll sell for about 50 maybe 60 bucks. Next, I got this little bear. And this is a little bear that you should watch out for. This and its counterparts that are a little bit bigger. This is Chantilly Lane. And there's the tag. And these all kind of sing and dance. I think this one might be dead, maybe might be dead so I will have to replace the battery hopefully it's still sings. the bigger counterpart sell for about 30 to 50 dollars this guy may be 10 to 15 dollars but I got to make sure it works first all of the plush in my local thrift store 99 cents up next again from my little local thrift store this is a little rooster I paid $3.99 for him it's really cool he's got the measuring spoon he isn't marked but I did a just general search for rooster measuring spoon and it looks like they sell pretty good branded or not so I think I'll get about 20 to 25 dollars for him and you guys should be seeing screenshots popping up on the screen because I'm hoping to list this stuff before you see okay. next I got two watches which is not normally stuff I would pick up but I am kind of making a promise to myself that I will fix the watches. I have another set of watches that are worth over $100 each and I'm going to either get the batteries and put them in or bring them up to the jeweler to do so. So this is a nice Florida Gators. This is Suntime. It's a men's watch and this one I paid $6.99. And then this is going to sell for about a hundred bucks. So this is a Michael Kors watch. And I was looking and I'm not sure if I can get these spots out. I think it's actually like worn out, unfortunately. And I will need to get a battery. But I found this exact model and it was selling for over $150. So hopefully I can put a battery in. And you can see it does say Michael Kors there as well and get about a hundred dollars for that and it was 9.99 see if i can show you there but i pointed out the flaw on the bezel and she gave it to me for five dollars up next it was a pot <laughs> so i paid two dollars and 99 cents for this it is copper lux in china it does have the copper bottom there it does come with the lid maybe 15 or 20 bucks i'm not sure i am not super familiar with this brand but almost anything with copper bottoms i tend to pick up next this is a little vintage like clutch paid two dollars and 49 cents for it it's a really pretty sequin and beaded which is great keywords this is kind of a turquoise blue and it actually has the little handle that pops up and it is named so Bijou Turner and I was able to find some comps that were at about like 15 to 20 bucks and 
it was a decent sell through rate and this one was cuter than the ones that it sold so i got that one this is for dalton for the bath um pay 99 cents for it matches my hair up next this i got at our uh, family yard sale brad's aunt was having a family yard sale paid three dollars for it i didn't even open it up um so i will show you guys once i take pictures and i don't think this one was branded not that i see but all throws i tend to pick up because they will typically sell for 20 to 40 dollars sometimes more if you find rare ones this is another throw that was three dollars this one is branded this one is faribo kind of like the gummies but this is a played a lot of people will call these like stadium blankets it is black and red so i might throw like a team name in there i know georgia bulldogs are black and red just some extra keywords in there that will increase the likelihood of it selling this guy i got I him got at goodwill it. he was two dollars and 99 cents he has a fluffy furry squish lion which he is mushabelly so this is another one that i pick up pretty much every time i see it just like squish mallows because they tend to sell pretty fast and if it doesn't oh, this is another like throw blanket rug this one was a dollar again i'll try to pop up there once i open these up because i haven't even opened them up this one looks like it's christmas trees and canoe so this one might be a good one to keyword cabin this one is from my little local thrift store it does have some wear there you can see this one is denmark ceramic non-stick this one i paid 3.99 it does have some wear but i think it should still do okay <laughs> um i probably will not lot them up because these would be a pain to ship more than single but it does have wear to the bottom of the pot this one again is denmark and it says tools for cooks not really sure on this brand might be hopefully not if it is i will give it to my free piece this one is another item from the family yard sale this one was a dollar and it's a really cool frog playing a saxophone and he is not marked and i'm not sure what that slit is really for maybe he is signed there by the artist but this is just a really cool little frog playing saxophone so this is really heavy <laughs> um this one was two dollars and it's a big art glass bowl kind of looks like wave it almost reminds me like of an octopus and it's got kind of an odd shape there it's got some bubbles but Kind of a neat little catch-all bowl. These are the last things that I got from the family yard sale. They are little brass, little leaf candlestick holders. They were made in India and both of them do have the sticker. I paid 75 cents for the pair and I think I can probably get about 20, maybe 30 for that. I love this guy. <laughs> this is a big old rug. his legs do that too he's really long um <laughs> oh. this frog was for my little local thrift store and all the plush is only a dollar there so he is fiesta i've not looked him up I'm hoping 30 to 50 but if not i should be able to get at least 20 for him and i only paid a dollar next is shirt i got for dalton this is from the goodwills <laughs> like a dollar 59 try and get him a prize whenever i also from the goodwill this is a bear with like a leopard hat i paid a dollar 99 for her she's pretty big i would say probably three feet and look she's got pantaloons on whenever bears are dressed like that they probably are worth more but not necessarily 
This one is JCPenney Holiday Collection. Hopefully by searching that, I'll be able to find what year and if she's vintage or not. Hopefully I can get 20 to 30 for her. These big plush will squish and they'll go into poly bags pretty easy and they typically aren't super heavy. Um, next, I got this at my little local thrift store. He's very sad looking with hair. And he has on his foot there, it says, I think, Lon Ramsey Friends. This one is a Dakin. Where is it? There you go. And that little pole monkey that I picked up at my last thrift haul, I priced it $50. So I'm hoping this bear is just as collectible like my other Dakin that I found last handmade. <laughs> it's just too cute. It's like a little Miss Piggy and she's all crocheted. She was only 99 cents from Goodwill. So I picked her up. This is probably vintage, definitely handmade. Hopefully there's a collector out there for this little piggy right now. I will clean it off. I'm enjoying having a table. Oh, I have a new tripod and it's a floor tripod. So it's taking a little bit of this is from my little local thrift store. So it was 99 cents. It's cool. It's got the corduroy belly, which are textured for like babies, like tactile simulation. That is something to use in your keywords when you are describing stuff like this. And he's a rattle. He has the little clip to clip on the crib. He is Kelly Toy, which is a decent brand for plush. I don't know if he crinkles. Oh, his ears crinkle. So this is all something you want to notate because that's great for younger babies to learn different sounds and feels. How cool is this? Synergizer bunny. I don't know if he's supposed to do anything. Maybe he's not. I will try to spot clean him. He is a little bit dirty, but he is Energizer brand. Let's see if there's a year here. 1989. So vintage Energizer bunny. And I paid 99 cents. Hopefully I can get like 20 bucks for him, but he's very cute. Keep going and going and going. Hopefully it doesn't go off the top. Of this was a good will buy. And this is Rowentha, which is a great brand for irons to look out for. I did pay $4.99. I think I will get between $28 and $25 and the sell through rate looks Next good. This is another good will find. This is a game that has really good comps and sell through rate. This is Flamme Rouge. And I paid $2.99. This game actually comps out at about $40. And another Rowenta. So I will test these irons to make sure they, they work and it should get 20 to 25 pretty. This is another from the yard sale. It was a dollar R. Kelly Live. These are actually selling for like 15 to 20 bucks. Um, so yeah. Should be really easy to listen. Hopefully it sells. Fast. I don't even remember what I got. That's bad. This one and in my little local thrift store, I did not comp because my phone was dying and I was in a hurry. So this is Yankee Candle with the little red cardinal, crackle glass, and not this one, but the next one I'm going to show you has the Yankee Candle sticker. So I just need to find like the Yankee Candle name for this when I go. And then this one, similar pattern. It's probably the same pattern as the Yankee Candle. It is from 2011. And this one was $1.99 as well. This is just a little brass bowl. It can be like a planter. It has like the staining on the inside that typically does not deter buyers from what I've seen. It's just kind of a patina to the brass. Kind of a cool look. And this was $1.99 and that sticker says made in India. So the pattern on this is pretty cool and would be cool to set like a little house plan in or something. <laughs> this I will have to test and it takes a lot of batteries. It's a Disney Princess CD player. And this one I actually, 
it was $5.99 but red was the 50% off so this was only $3 and I'm hoping to get at least $25 but I might be able to get more I just have to make sure that it works we just have a little more from Goodwill to go and then we will be done I got this for dolls <laughs> really cute like Paw Patrol blanket goes like this and then where is it can't find it paws where he can like wrap himself in paws oh my goodness if i <laughs> it's so, so crazy maybe i can convince doll to wrap up in that and show you guys next and i could not find any comps on this just totally messed it up this is pretty cool though this is a panama jack towel it is a beach towel don't think it has a year but i bet it is vintage it was a dollar 99 and i think i can get at least 20 for this I'm trying to 2013 so it's not vintage but i still think this is a pretty cool panama jack towel and i think i can get like 15 to 20 dollars this is the last item and i did not look it up so you guys will see comps this is a little pie plate it's really cool it's got the butterfly there and the flowers it has amarilla and this is the botanic garden and i paid $1.99 for this one Good. my haul i spent 30 dollars total at goodwill i spent 50 dollars total at my little local thrift store and i spent $10.75 at the family yard sale. So all of the stuff you just saw I got for under $100, actually under $75. So not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul with me. Let me know if you like me showing it better than <laughs> taking it out of the car and just like throwing stuff. I would like to do these however you guys enjoy them. Do not forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite thing was in this haul and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope that you guys are having lots of sales. I hope you learned a lot from this video because that's why I do them. I want to teach you and help you learn more about what sells online, whether it be eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, wherever you want to sell. I hope you learned some new items today by watching my thrift haul and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy, 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 Daddy,